And I like to think of a dragon swimming through water, possibly swimming through a wave on a shore. And you can see the action of the flow and all of the colours coming out in the dragon as it goes down. And you can go all the way back again. Hopefully this will go all the way back. And there we are, all the way back. Now, there it is. That is the Chinese dragon flourish. Now, I've written some notes about this uh, to help you get an understanding uh, of this. I'm going to ask my friend to come in and look at this. Next to the rabbit here, we've got a magic wand. I'm going to move my bunny away. Now, if you'd like to look at this, it's a quick diagram. You can see quickly, uh, easily, this is just the shape of the dragon. And this just gives you the dimensions, the height of the dragon design is equal to the distance between the two peaks uh, between the different parts of the dragon. So the actual zigzag peaks of the dragon has a distance there that is approximately equal to the height. It is approximately equal. It doesn't have to be exact, but it's approximately equal. The other thing is, the actual height is about two and a half to three times uh, the height of the card. So if you look at the card there, one, two, and about a half. So it's about two and a half cards deep. One, two, and a half cards deep. And again, the width across between the peaks is one, two, and about half a card. So these two measurements are equal. Now if you look at the dragon here, I'm going to move my bunny back, you'll find the same thing here. You've got an equal distance approximately between this peak here and this peak here and the actual height of the dragon. And this is the kind of shape that you want to aim for that will give you the classic Chinese dragon shape. Um, and again, it's two and a half to three times uh, the card length. This one's about three times. Now, once you've done the flourish, it's very, very easy um, to pack this up. You just take hold of the cards and you just move along and they all come together. It's very, very easy. They almost put themselves away for you. And you stand them all up on the end like this, and they all fall down into three decks of cards. I found that uh, using three decks uh, was a good idea. It's about the right amount for me. But what you do will be up to you. Here we go again. This is the Chinese Dragon card flourish. I'm doing this a little bit quicker this time. If you go quicker, sometimes a mistake happens and you don't get um, a perfect flourish. Hopefully this will work. I did this one a bit quicker and I'm hoping that won't affect it, that it will work. And there we are once again. The flourish is complete. And I'm scooping this up. Usually if you spend a bit more time setting it up, you get a better effect when you do the turnover. Um, but it's entirely up to you. Now, this is a very, very important part of this that I want to tell you now. This flourish is for you. I would like you, the watcher, to make your own special thing of this flourish. So what I want you to do is to get some bicycle cards, perform the Chinese Dragon Flourish, and then develop it in your own way. You might develop it by doing a spectacular 20 deck long dragon that will be all the way down a corridor. You could use a gigantic round table and do a Chinese dragon flourish all around the table so that it becomes one big circular dragon all the way around, flowing in a zigzag all the way around the circle of the table. One huge gigantic one. You could get multiple different colored decks. So you could have green, purple, blue, pink, yellow, black, etc. cards and then you will have a multicolored dragon. What I've done is I've used three decks. I'm just going to spread them out. And I hope that if the camera comes in close, you can see that we've got three colors. 
So we have the blue bicycle deck, which is one of the standard uh, bicycle deck colours. And then we go to the red bicycle deck, which is another standard colour. And then alternately we go to another blue deck. So you have a slightly stripy dragon, blue, red, blue. But if I was going to do a huge dragon, I would get 10 blue decks, 10 red decks, and I would do a massive dragon, and you'd really see a stripy dragon in the turnover. Uh, now we're going to play this uh, one more time, we're going to do this one more time. So once again, this is the Chinese dragon card flourish, invented by myself in the year of the dragon 2012. Here we go. I'm hoping that the whole world is going to be doing this and that they're going to be putting it on YouTube. So um, I want you to do something better than what I'm doing. And here comes the flourish now. If we come in close with this one and you'll see the action. So we can turn the whole thing over and it flows over as a very beautiful flowing dragon through the water. And there we are, the Chinese dragon card flourish. So just to finish, I'd like you to go and do this yourself. Try and do something better than me. Go one better. Do a bigger dragon, a more elaborate dragon. Do something that I haven't even thought of with this. Put it on YouTube. We'll see how many people in the world follow this and put this on YouTube. It'll be a massive phenomena and everyone will have heard of the Chinese dragon card flourish.